November edition? It's not, yeah, it's November. I haven't, I haven't missed it. Um, all right. First things first, we're looking for a speaker for next month or the month after. Uh, someone to, yeah, uh, we currently have uh, no one speaking next month. If we don't have anyone speaking, it will be a very short user group. Uh, uh, so if you're if you're interested, um, send me an email, uh, send a notice through Meetup, send a tweet at us. Uh, it doesn't have to be something that you're an expert in. Um, a lot of us that have presented here have been using it as a, a chance to, to learn a bit about F Sharp or um, just talk about something that we found that's, that's cool and interesting. Um, it doesn't have to be F Sharp specific, even if it's uh, something around functional programming and stuff like that. Um, Give, it, give us a yell if uh, if you're interested in presenting. Uh, the other thing we're also we're always looking for someone to, to do the news. Um, I was a bit slack in sending out a full notification for looking for someone to do the news. So unless someone wants to read my slides for me, um, you're stuck with me again this month, unfortunately. So without further ado, oh, the news is like you know five minutes um, from uh, what's been happening in the community over the last month. So it's short, sharp, and it's another. If you want to have a practice at um, speaking to user group, it's a good way to get, get involved. So, do you watch the news? It's time for what's happened in the last month of, uh, of F Sharp. The F Sharp advent calendar is back for 2015. Um, if you were here around about this time last year, um, it, was, it was talked about uh, basically uh, a bunch of people in the F Sharp community throughout the month of December are writing blog posts about F Sharp. Um, so in the style of an advent calendar, so a new thing every day. I'm familiar with the concept of advent calendars, pop it, you get a piece of chocolate every day leading up to Christmas. Um, they're running all the way through to uh, end of end of December. So if you um, keep an eye out on um, the as a hashtag they're running, I think it's F S Advent or it might be F Sharp Advent. Otherwise, if you Google F Sharp Advent <coughs> Calendar, you'll find uh, all of last year's blog posts, um, the stuff that's coming up this year. I think actually might still have a couple of um, days that they don't have anyone writing. So if you're really keen, you want to write a, a blog post about F Sharp, and shoot them a, a message. Um, all the details are up on on that. So there's a website about how to do that, and yeah, get yourself. Recognizing the community. I was going through the list of people that are there. Uh, George is actually writing one, and so is Troy. So, two former organizers of F, of F Sharp Sydney are both writing them now that they've buggered off to work on F Sharp for the class. Uh, the next thing um, F Sharp on the next version of the .NET framework. So, this is the, the like the, what started as ASP.NET V Next. Um, they've got a version of it sort of working, I think I talked about that last month, or it was in the news last month, that uh, they were working on porting um, F Sharp onto the new CLR to get it running, and it was still in its very early stages. They're all much closer, there's now a project running under um, the core FX projects on GitHub um, called um, F Sharp DNX, and that way if you, want it, if you want to follow along with that, if you're interested in getting it running on the new CLR, in the, in the new sort of project structure and stuff like that, they're looking at from a C sharp side and um, not having to use project files. Wait, we've not had to use project files in F sharp for a while now. These guys are just like so behind the ball. Uh, but it's, it's kind of a good use case of, uh, of cross platform on the new CLR uh, go, that goes beyond just running on top of the This one I thought was, was kind of interesting. Uh, and it, it's good for people that are looking for an F sharp in uh, the proper mix uh space. Mm -hmm. uh, Docker has just been released for F sharp. So, uh, who's familiar with Docker? Yeah, half of them. So, uh, if I wanted a very bad explanation of what Docker is, for those who aren't familiar with it, uh, then go away and have a look at it Google or someone else. Feel free to correct me while it's funny. But basically, Docker is a, a way of uh, running really isolated uh, programs. Um, it was originally on top of like Nix systems. Uh, it's been added to Windows support. I think it's in the preview version of Windows Server, or maybe the current server version of Windows Server. Um, not quite sure how it works on Windows, but there's a, I think it's a, it's a Nix based uh, at the moment. So if you want to spin up this kind of 
tiny little uh, isolated <coughs> computing space um, on side uh, on your own machine, on a server, or something like that, that can be used to execute a lot programs. Uh, it's a huge tool to help you get started with that. Um, and it's probably also really interesting once they start getting more of the DMX support for Docker, I uh, sorry, for the web shop, they've recently done a similar thing with HPNet, so you can spin up a Docker image for HPNet, and be kind of cool to be involved to spin up a Docker image that runs um, F sharp and new CLR with these small isolated little space. And that's a wrap for the news for this one. Uh, like I said, it news is pretty pretty easy if uh, if anyone's keen to, to, to do it next month um, and say say you have to listen to me every week. Uh, we have a talk tonight from the tool that's gonna be uh, telling us all the amazing things that you can do with Xamarin, how it is like the best thing out there and F sharp support is amazing that you should all be using Xamarin Studio as your primary Development platform, and, uh, and uh, so that, that's that's what he's told me he's going to be talking about. Uh, so we'll we'll see how accurate that is. Uh, so while we do the cable switch, talk amongst yourselves, feel free to grab more pizza, and I will be doing the prizes after this talk tonight. So if you want to, you want to hang around. It's the only way you'll be allowed to get a prize. We don't give them away to people that don't hang around.